Okay, we're looking at problem 6.4. Uh, it's this truss, and it says use the method of joints to determine the force in each member of the truss shown. So um, state whether each member is in tension or compression. Okay, so the first thing we need to do when, with all these truss problems is you need to get rid of the um, external forces. You need to get, so there's a force here of some value, right? And there's a force here and here of some value. So right off the bat, we can do this. We can say sum of the forces in x equals 0. That's going to tell me that f of x equals uh, 0. So this is 0, so there's no surprise there. Now, I can take the moments. I can do it lots of different ways. Quite frankly, I'm just going to be lazy. And if you look at this, it's completely symmetric, and the loadings are symmetric, so half of the load is going to be on each one, right? So you have 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2.4, so you have a 8.4 down. So you split that up, and so therefore dy is going to be 4.2, and fy is going to be 4.2. Again, if you want to take the moment, say about f, and figure that out, you're going to get the same answer. Feel free to. Okay. So we know this is 4.2, and this is 4.2. Now here's the other thing, because this is symmetric, I'm going to kind of put a line down here and I'm just going to ignore this side of things because this one will have the same value as this one and this one will have the same value as this one and so on. So we don't need to go through and figure out each one individually because so we just need to figure out say one side and then we'll figure it out. Okay, so when we're doing the method of joints, we have two points, so, uh, sorry, we have two equations because we're looking at a single point. So the moment the equation is a, it just tells you that 0 equals 0. So we have two equations, and those are the sum of forces in x and sum of forces in y. So we can only solve for two unknowns. So let's look here at point D. Point D, I have a force going off in this direction, one in this direction, and one in this direction. The problem is that's three unknowns, so I can't do anything about it, so I don't want to do it. So instead, let's look at point A. So I'm going to draw the free body diagram at point A. At point A, I have one coming down. I have some unknown, this is AB, and I have some unknown force coming up here, this is AD. So this turns out to be like by far the simplest point. I can take my sum of forces in x equals 0, and that's going to tell me that AB is actually equal to 0. Boom. And sum of my forces in y equals 0 tells me that AD is equal to 1. Okay. Lovely. Now, is that one in tension or compression? Well, I got a positive number, which simply means that I drew the arrow right. And I drew it pushing into that point, and the only way something pushes into the point is if it's in compression. So that is AD is equal to 1 in compression. So now I know this one. I'm going to erase some stuff so it's easier to see what's going on here. Okay, so I just figured out this one and this one. So now I can come here to point D. Let's look at point D at D. So point D, of force coming up here of 4.2. Now, this force over here, I'm talking about here right now, uh, it, it was pushing up into that point. Well, again, it's the equal and opposite. It pushes down into that point by a value of 1, right? Because it's in compression, so it's pushing on that point. But I also have some unknown force in this direction. And uh, it's hard to see. Let's draw that again. I'll draw it this way. An unknown force in that direction and an unknown force in that direction. This is B, B, and this is B, B. Okay, so you'll notice both of them have forces in the X, but only B, D has a force in the Y. So I'm going to start with sum of my forces in Y equals 0. So what's that going to tell me? The way I drew it, the ups equals the downs. So 4.2 plus B, D, and the Y is equal to 1, so therefore BD and the Y is equal to minus 3.2. So the negative is just telling me that I drew it the wrong way, which is fine. But I don't want the BD and the Y, I want BD, so then I'm going to look at this triangle. So let's, let's look at this triangle here. This triangle is what, 12 here and 6.4, that works out to be 13.6. So therefore BD, the Y portion is 6.4. Minus 3.2, so therefore B D is equal to uh, 6.8, and it's going to be a negative in there. But I don't want negative numbers. So instead, I'm going to say B D is equal to 6.8, and I drew it away from the point. So away from the point means it's uh, in tension, but I got a negative number, therefore it's in compression. 
So BD is 6.8 in compression. Let's see if we can actually write in a reasonable way. There we go. Okay. So now I just figured out this value right here. And so what's my next equation? Well, I can take my sum of forces and x equals 0. So that's going to tell me that BD and the x plus DE equals 0. So therefore DE equals minus BD and the x, which is minus... But BD, remember, this is the actual number because we're using that same, we're using the arrow as drawn and the answer is negative. So it's minus, minus 6.8 times the 12 over 6 point, or sorry, the 12 over 13.6. 12 over 13.6. So therefore, DE is equal to a plus, and that works out to be 6. Okay, oops. But I'm not going to do that. It's equal to 6. So the plus sign just tells me that I drew it correctly. And I drew it where it's pulling away from that point. So therefore, it is in tension. Okay. And I just figured out this point. So I have these four points. I just need to figure out this one right here. So I can really go to any point. Let's look. Um, to me, let's look at this one right here. This is the simplest. Let's look at point A at E. So at point E, I have a force down here of 2.4. I have a force going up this direction called VE. So I'm going to erase this stuff so I can see, can't even see what I'm looking at. I have a force off in this direction and a force off in this direction. It turns out we know what this is. This is 6, but it doesn't matter because VE is only in Y. And since this is one of those kind of special loading, you have a straight across here, and you have, so this goes like this. So, BE is going to be 2.4. It's going to be positive 2.4, and I drew it in tension, so it's in tension. Okay, where does that come from? For what it's worth, it comes from this simply put the sum of my forces, and y equals 0. So my ups equals my downs, so BE is equal to 2.4. So that's where it came from. But it's also, you can just kind of say that. So therefore, boom, we got this. So AB is zero, so this works out to be zero. Uh, AD, this is a slight compression uh, with a value of one, uh, one tip. BD, uh, this one right here, is in a lot of compression. Its value is 6.8. DE, this one right here, is in six of tension. So this one is also in six of tension. This one's in 6.8 of compression. This one's going to be 0, this one's going to be 1. And I'm just going to act like this one anyway, because it's so ugly. There we go. That is the problem.